Hi, and welcome to the uh, Office Hours for Nick Carbonaro here. Uh, this is Nick Carbonaro, Professor Nick Carbonaro. You can find me on Twitter at NJ Carbonaro, on YouTube at youtube.com slash forward slash Professor Nick Carbonaro, or visit me on my website, nickcarbonaro.com. So again, uh, Office Hours Mondays, 5.30 to 6 p.m. live stream. Sorry, we're getting started a little bit late. I know it's about 20 minutes late. Uh, I was with a student discussing... Uh, some stuff for uh, business club for our business club meeting. So let me let me get over here and um, we will get started in just one second. I'll, I'll let some people filter in here. I know we started a little bit late, so I'll let some people filter in here and then we'll get started. If you have any questions, please chat them in. Um, we're going to be going over some stuff today. We're going to be going over just our class outline, what we have, and then um, for my introduction to business class, we have a we have a test tomorrow. Maybe we'll do a little little review here. So it's not going to be a long one today, just because uh, there's not a lot of stuff going on this week. There's not a lot of stuff going on this week. I'll put it this way so you guys see the LBCC logo. Um, not a lot of stuff going on this week. We have uh, our GBiz 5 class, our GBiz 10s, and uh, social media. Social media, we're getting started on platforms this week. So let me just start with there. So I'm not going to post up the uh, syllabus just because, or the course outline, just because we don't have a lot of stuff this week. So uh, first things first, social media. Let's start with you, social media. Social media this week. We're going to start infographics. We're going to create infographics. Remember, the for my LAC class, we went over the uh, how to be viral, how to be mar uh, how to market your yourself better um, through viral content. With that viral content, uh, you need to create stuff. One of the one of the main pillars was you need to create content, and so that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be uh, or or this week is that we're creating content now. So the first thing we're going to create is an infographic information graphic you've seen them all online if you if you don't know what an infographic is I'll pull one up here um, let me pull one up here for us real quick uh, infographic is let's see here infographic there is an infographic right there right protecting our planet starts with you so all the information is nice and compact into a uh, infographic. And so we're going to be introducing that tomorrow, start creating those that are going to be due next week. Then we're going to create a LinkedIn account and, and talking about uh, uh, LinkedIn and, and personally branding yourself, right? This is the information on branding. So if we go to my website, nickcarbonara.com, I got an infographic up here. If you look at my resume, my resume is an infographic resume. And so just a little thing to stand you out, right? With the infographic, I didn't put any links on here, but with an infographic, you can have a link to another place. It's just an interesting way to get your content out there in a nice and compact way. So we're going to be talking about infographics, creating that good content to get your stuff viral, and then creating a LinkedIn account. And so I have my LinkedIn account linked up here. You can see here has all the information that you would see in my infographic, but just put together on a nice platform of um, LinkedIn. So we have that here for our social media class. That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be creating those two things, infographic, LinkedIn account for us. For our GBiz 10 classes, we're going to be continuing with Chapter 5, which is banking and interest rates. We don't have any homework assignments due. Uh, they're due next week. Chapter 5, is 7, and 8 homework assignment is due next week. It's already up on your LMS site. Uh, chapters five is on banking and interest rates, and um, that's what we're going to be doing um, before the break. So the so this Thursday we'll be doing chapter five, finishing it up, or this Tuesday tomorrow we'll be finishing up chapter five for our online class. You guys are doing chapter eight, and yeah, there's no for our online class there's there's homework assignments, quizzes, but for our in class there's no homework assignment. It's due next week, so so that's due next week. That is. 
that's due next week. Let me let me make this full. Let me make it. Let me fit to this screen right here real quick. There we go. Looks a lot cleaner. Looks looks a lot nicer. So that's what we're going to be doing for our intro to business class. We're going to be doing a test tomorrow, right? GBiz five introduction to business. Test number two is tomorrow. It's on chapters four, chapters five, chapters fourteen, right? Chapter four, chapter five, chapter fourteen. All that stuff is on our LMS page. All that stuff is on our top hat. Make sure we are reviewing the top hat. Make sure reviewing our PowerPoint slides. The in-class stuff that we that we did um, questions with those you may see on the test. Right, test is done through top hat. So please make sure you have your top hat downloaded, ready to go, just like we did last time. It, it was a breeze. You, you guys did really good. Everybody, uh, everybody did really good on that one. So. Uh, we have that. We have that going on, and and that's chapter five. And then on uh, Thursday we'll chart. We'll start chapter six. Uh, Thursday we'll start chapter chapter six. So we take our test tomorrow. Thursday starting chapter six on management. And so before spring break we'll have chapter six, and we'll have chapter seven. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be gonna be a busy time. We got spring break next. Uh, not not this week. Not next week but the following week after, starting our last day of class before spring break is March 30th. So for our GBIS 5 students, please, please, please make sure where we are doing our uh, group projects. Make sure where we're staying on top of that. It's going to be here before we know it. We get back from that spring break, we just have eight weeks left. And counting tests and counting finals, it's really, you know, five or six weeks of instruction. So please make sure, please, please, please make sure we are um, staying on top of that. So I have two people right now on the live stream uh where which class are you guys in are you in gbiz 10 are you in gbiz 5 uh if you can just chat that in there so that i know what's going on if you can't chat it in there no worries but in about two minutes i am going to be going over our gbiz 5 test tomorrow <gasps> doing a review gbiz 5 so if you know anybody out there on gbiz 5 please have them tune in this could really be beneficial that's why I send out a bunch of emails. I send out emails every week saying, hey, add me on YouTube. It's not to hustle to get followers. Well, some of it is. You know, I want that personalized uh, personalized uh, YouTube channel subscription right behind it, youtube.com slash Professor Nick Carbonaro. But it's for your benefit. I do everything for your benefit. I don't do this just to have fun. I do this for your benefit. And, and I know I was a little bit late. Sorry about that. Had another student in here, the business club president. If you haven't, go check out Business Club. I'm giving a presentation this Thursday on virality and marketing. So if you're in my social media class, we already went through it. Probably don't need to show up to that one. But if you're in any of my other classes and you're really into social media, please, please, please come to our Business Club meeting. It is on Thursday in room T2376. Room T, as in Thomas, 2376 at the LAC campus. Myself and Dr. O'Toole. We'll be there. We're the, both the business club advisors. Our new president, Lauren Goldfarb, really taking the bull by the horns, really doing a good job getting our uh, our class, um, our, our business club really going along, really motivated, everything like that. So I was talking to him, getting the details uh, squared away for Thursday. You'll see flyers. You'll see emails get, sh get shot out to you regarding that. Maybe some students in your classes will, will shoot an announcement for that. So please make sure where we're... Where we're doing that type of stuff, but uh, in a couple minutes here, I'm actually going to go over the uh, the test. I'm gonna I'm gonna start going over and telling you what stuff to study, what stuff not to study. Sorry, not not stuff to study, but what stuff to study. We're gonna go a little bit in depth with it. This test is about 30 questions. It's on chapters four, five, and 14. So we're gonna have a little uh, um, about 10 questions each chapter. And so yeah, so let me open this up real quick. And let's get started. So, literally just going to go down the list. Chapter four was on business ownership. Business ownership. What's the simplest form of business ownership? Simplest form of business owned and operated by one person. It's so owned and operated by one person. What is it? Is it a franchise, partnership, S Corp? What is it? All right, there we go. 
What does unlimited liability mean? So give me the definition of what unlimited liability is. You do unlimited liability, you know that definition. Read it from the book, memorize it from the lectures. Do it from Top Hat. We did it in Top Hat. You'll get the answer 100%. Question three. What is a voluntary association of two or more people acting as co-owners of a business? You have two people. And they own a business together. Well, in life, you know, two people is called a partner. So we'll leave it at that. Who assumes full co-ownership of a partnership, including unlimited liability? What is that partner called? There's two different types of partners. There's a general partner, limited partner. Which one assumes full responsibility with it? The partner that can lose only what he or she invested in. Is it a general partner or a limited partner? Which one is that? A partner who can only lose what he or she invested in it. I talk about it in class. Twitter, Facebook, they're all public corporations. They have shares of ownership. What's another word for shares? Pretty simple stuff. What's another word for shares? If you've been in our class every day, you've heard us say it. We've, we've defined it. We've talked about it, especially with corporations. So look that up. If you don't know what a synonym of shares are, Look it up. What is it called when a company distributes its earnings? So you can only have this one little thing regarding investment if you make a profit for a company. So if a company makes a profit and they decide to reward their shareholders. How do you reward your shareholders? On top of their appreciation of their stock. What is another financial gain that they could have with that ownership. What's the most effective form of business ownership on raising business organization of raising capital? What's the easiest way to raise capital? Which which type of business ownership is the easiest way to raise capital? What type of corporation or what type of business has a restriction on the number of owners? Look at that. Number of owners, restriction on number of owners. Partnership form to operate for a specific time. What is that called? Right, specific time. What are we talking about there? For a specific purpose. What is that called? Define small business. Make sure we know what small business is. That's chapter five. Define what a small business is. Um, businesses are generally categorized in three different categories. So with our top hat, we had three different bubbles. We said, okay, businesses are generally placed into three broad categories. What are those three categories? What is the industry that is concerned with the movements of goods, right? Concerned with the movements of goods and services. Let's say a person, uh, wants to create a website for somebody and you create your own company that makes websites for other people what type of industry would this be considered under what type of industry no 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 what's a, what's true and false about a small business know what goes into a small business what doesn't go into a small business just to find a small business we got a your group projects. What are you guys creating on group projects? That's one of the answers to the test. What are you guys creating for your group project? What is it that when you're doing your group projects right now, your team projects, you're presenting what? What are you presenting to the class? Define franchise. What is a franchise? What's the definition of a franchise? If McDonald's is a franchise, what is McDonald's considered in that agreement? What is the person that buys into a McDonald's, that runs the McDonald's for them? Who, what is that called? So let's say you wanted to open up your own McDonald's. You go to McDonald's to get a license, some type of license. I'm not going to tell you what the name of it is. You go to McDonald's to find a license. What is the name of the, what is the, what role is McDonald's playing in that? What role are you playing in that?
what are some things that small businesses provide to the economy? Right? If you look at it, what are some things that small businesses provide to the economy? What is some stuff that a business looks at when they're going through their e-business, right? So when e-business is going on um, and they get, you know, information such as uh, tall, uh, tall male ages 18 to 34, what is all that stuff considered? What is What do those descriptors qualify as? Um, what is a collection of data called? It's a collection of data called. What's social media? So some things involved with social media. What are some things involved with social media? What is considered Google and Yahoo? What are those considered? What is it called when Dell Computer, you know, has people outside the company, do outside of the country, do the job for them? What is that called? What is that called when like a company says, hey, it's cheaper to hire labor outside the country put them in here, what is that called? Know the relationship between e-commerce and business to business versus business to consumer, right? Know the different types of social media platforms. So what is considered a different type of social media platform? Do we have um, the media sharing sites? All that different type of stuff that we went over in class, make sure we understand that. Make sure we understand those things. That's the chapter 14 sway. And so if we, if we do all those things like we just talked about for the past like 10 minutes, you'll be fine on the exam. You'll, you'll do really good. You'll do just like we did this past, uh, this past, you know, this past couple of weeks. So, or the, the last one on chapter one, we did really well in chapter one. Uh, class average was a B, majority got A's and B's, C's. So make sure we're just continue studying, make sure we continue doing that. Um, as far as for my personal finance class, my social media classes, any questions before we, we get off of here? I'm going to go a little bit early today just because there's not a lot of stuff going on this week. Um, not a lot of uh, not a lot of information. Not a lot of information. I mean, we have spring break coming up. A lot of stuff's going to be held off until spring break. So any any questions before we get out of here? Before we get out of here, I'll make it exactly a 20-minute. I'll make this exactly a 20-minute um, office hour just so that for people that – that are coming in. Maybe somebody comes in the last minute. Maybe you have a question that you want to ask in the last minute or so um, that we could do. But uh, yeah, ask those ask those questions. Ask those questions now. I'm going to just let it run for a minute and a half um, because it's 18. We're running 1830 right now. So do we have anything out there? Do you want me to talk about anything? Do you have anything that that is uh, important to you that you would like to see me discuss? Anything out there? Just a little updates on what's going on. Uh, this past uh, Friday, I presented at a conference on the importance of social media in the classroom. So check that out if you want to. If you want to learn a little bit more about it, I go over three different platforms that I use. I use a Remind app. I use TED Eds, and I use YouTube. So I go over the benefits of it, uh, mainly from a from a instructor standpoint, but it could relate to anybody. So if you're in another class and you have to do a project on how to relay information, maybe the TED Ed's the best way for you to do that. It'd be innovative, it'd be new, it'd be creative. So have those out there. I'm working on another Carbonaro conversation, trying to get some people to interview. Uh, to do that, just really busy with the with the spring break coming up. But but yeah, so um, yeah, to that person that just came in, I'm actually going to be logging off in the next 20 seconds. So. Uh, I'll go an extra minute. I make it 21 minutes. Ah, oh, I don't like it. It's a little odd, but uh, we'll, we'll do 21 minute. We'll do 21 minute even. So that, that person that just came in here, we got, we got another person that just added on. Do you have any questions? 
uh, that you want to go through. If not, watch the watch the entire uh, YouTube video again. It's only a 20 minute one. We're cutting it short today just because there's not a lot of stuff going on this week. Again, uh, online classes, your homeworks, your quizzes, your discussion boards are due at the on Sunday. Um, in class Jeeva's 10 classes, we're going over chapter 5 on Tuesday, chapter 7 on, on Thursday, uh, Jeeva's 5 test tomorrow, and uh, Jeeva's 5 we have a test tomorrow, so we just did our review on this, on this, uh, on this pod, on this, no, podcast, on this, uh, on this live stream, and then we have our, um, chapter 6 will start on Thursday. Those two things. Your TED Eds aren't due until another week, so so not this Thursday, but next Thursday. A lot of stuff's due next week. Lot, big week next week, right before spring break. But got about 15 seconds. Dark web. Dark web. No, we're probably not gonna <laughs> we're not probably gonna talk about the dark web and are you talking about onion? Like the website, the onion? We're not going to be talking about the onion. Um, social media, we're actually going to be doing uh, infographics and LinkedIn. That's what we're going to get into. We're going to start making some content. I'm going to do a little presentation on virality, getting your content viral, and then we're going to talk about creating that content. So infographics, LinkedIn page, branding. So that's what we're doing. So if you came in late, please watch the live stream again. Live stream uh, right in the very front. Up front, I go over what we're going to be doing this past week, this upcoming week. Second half of the live stream, the last 10 minutes of it or so, is regarding our GBS 5. I go over the test. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you next Monday. And have a great night.